Hello the YouTube and today I'll teach you how to play the beginning note and band and how to um take care of your instrument and make sure it lasts a long time for uh maybe uh teach your family to use. And what you want to do is I wipe my lacquered instrument every night I play it cuz if you if you keep these cloths in a safe place and you don't discard them, they could last the whole time you have them. So I, w I just keep these cloths in a safe place where you wouldn't forget them. I got a second one because mine was new. I rent mine. I rent mine, so no. I'm kind of really excited. I rented it from Lake Orion Music. Really nice French horn, Holton. So here's the reg first note you're going to be playing in band. It doesn't sound like that, you know, but that's the first note you're going to be playing in band. Here, that was a C. This is a high C. I did there was I just press this down or you can just tighten your lips but this is a double French horn so I have this there's a thing such as a triple French horn but that's very not many people have them so here's the C again notice I'm not pressing down on the buttons and here's a high C I just press down on this thumb. And notice how that's loud and um um this this high C is louder and higher than the low the regular C. The C regular C is like this. And this is the high C. Okay, I think you guys understand that now. So what you're going to do with your slide grease, which I just put on my instrument not too long ago, is you're going to take the slide out. Take your fingertip, dip it a little, don't even take a lot, rub it all over your slide with your fingers. Take this, stick it in here, stick it back, should slide in pretty good. Looks like I'm having problems here. There we go. Slide that in, looks pretty good. I'm just, I did it in the beginning of this video. You can do it to all the other ones. I don't feel like doing it to them right now because they're pretty greased already. This one was just a little hard to get out, a little stubby. And this is your rotor, rotor oil. This should last you, I don't know, probably the whole time. Because all you have to do is unscrew it, drop one drop, I repeat, one drop on the top of this, which I don't feel like, okay, I'll unscrew it for you guys. That, right there, is where you put the valve oil. Nowhere else on this. And then, you start working it in by pressing the key down. If you're having trouble working it in, press the key down. And then, take this, screw it on the top. Keep on working that in there. You should be good after that. Let it, uh, maybe like one night after band, you're like, oh, my, my keys are really sticky. What am I supposed to do? Um, I would put the rotor oil in there as soon as you can. So by the time you go to band the next day or the day after that, that it's ready 
and the, st the keys aren't sticky, so you have problems with those. Um, like, uh, I had to teach a girl in my class today how to, um, roll, how to use her rotor oil on her French horn because she was new to playing it just like me and, um, I had taken a class on it last night about how to maintenance and that stuff and lady showed us all of that. You got the snake thing. You just use it like this. You put it in there. Put this part. See how it's big? Not not like a pine tree. You just stick that in there. Stack that in there. I'm just gonna do it the short way. So I can just show you guys one way. And I just take this out. And you just run it through there. It'll come out. See how it popped out there? And then I'll just take it back. Done with that part. Put that in there. I need to put a little slide piece on this. See how I only have that much? Slide in it. Alright, it's ready now. Slides in. Good thing I put that on. And now, I would like to show you how, um, how I thought of the French horn as my favorite instrument. One day, uh, she gave me a paper uh, stating that there were, I think like nine, maybe eight instruments I could play. And this was one of the biggest ones besides the baritone. And I heard if this was stretched out with all its pipes, it would be as big as the trombone. I mean, I forgot what it's called. Tuba, yeah, tuba. So, this is one of the only instruments you put your hand in there. And I thought, you know what, that's interesting. Let me try it, let me play it. You know, sounds fun. It ended up being the best instrument I could play. Because, you know, I'm taking beginning band classes. I'm pretty sure you heard my C note. Kind of suckish. It's because I'm new. This is new to me. But I can try, and I'm, I've been practicing, doing my homework, then focusing on my French horn. Because this is really important, and I just don't want to... Take, I want to take care of my instrument. It's a $40,000 instrument. I want to take care of it. So, if the next generation wants to use it, they can use it. Or my sister, or, you know, you know, my kids. I have kids. You know, next generation. Pass it on. And then after that, you know, sell it maybe. And uh, later in the year, I might have concerts and stuff. But one more time at that end, just in case you skip this part or you missed it, is the C note and the high C. I'll begin with the C. <laughs> one sec, I gotta try that again. That was good enough. This is the high C. Looks like you gotta try that again. That's the high C. And here's the regular C again. And that is the regular C. Finally got it down. Thank you for watching. I'm just going to put this back in my case now.
really appreciate you guys. And please, no dirty comments. Please, please don't be disgusting. You're just rude and obnoxious and discouraging. So please only thoughtful and helpful, helpful regarding comments like, hey dude, you need to work on this or this. And like trying to help me out instead of just saying you suck at every freaking thing in the world. Because that just means you're a jerk face. And nobody likes jerk faces. Thanks for watching, and um, come back to you with more French horn, maybe later.